oboes. Oboe, oboe are a family of double reed woodwind musical instruments. The most common oboe plays in the treble or soprano range. Oboes are usually made of wood, but there are also oboes made of synthetic materials. A soprano oboe measures roughly 65 centimeters long, with metal keys, a conical bore and a flared bell. Sound is produced by blowing into the reed and vibrating a column of air. The distinctive oboe tone is versatile and has been described as bright. When the term oboe is used alone, it is generally taken to mean the standard treble instrument rather than other instruments of the family, such as the cor anglais or the oboe d'amour. In English, prior to 1770, the standard instrument was called a hobbis, hoboy, or French hoboy. The speaking of oboe was adopted into English c. 1770 from the Italian oboe, a transliteration in that language's orthography of the 17th century pronunciation of the French name. A musician who plays the oboe is called an oboist or simply an oboe player. Today, the oboe is commonly used in concert bands, orchestras, chamber music, film music, in some genres of folk music, and as a solo instrument, and is occasionally heard in jazz, rock music, pop music, and popular music. Sound. In comparison to other modern woodwind instruments, the treble oboe is sometimes referred to as having a clear and penetrating voice. The Sprightly Companion, an instruction book published by Henri Playford in 1695, describes the oboe as majestical and stately, and not much inferior to the trumpet, humorously. The oboe is described in the play Angels in America as sounding like that of a duck if the duck were a songbird. The rich timber of the oboe is derived from its conical bore. As a result, oboes are readily audible over other instruments in large ensembles. Music for the standard oboe is written in concert pitch, and the instrument has a soprano range, usually from B flat 3 up to G6. Orchestras normally tune to a concert A played by the oboe. According to the League of American Orchestras, this is done because the pitch of the oboe is secure and its penetrating sound makes it ideal for tuning purposes. The pitch of the regular oboe is affected by the way in which the reed is made. The reed has a significant effect on the sound of the instrument. Variations in cane and other construction materials, the age of the reed, and differences in scraper and length all affect the pitch of the instrument. German and French reeds, for instance, differ in many ways, causing the sound of the oboe to vary accordingly. Weather conditions such as temperature and humidity also affect the pitch. Skilled oboists suggest their embouchure to compensate for these factors. Subtle manipulation of embouchure and air pressure allows the player to express timber and dynamics. History The regular oboe first appeared in the mid-17th century, when it was called a hobbis. This name was also used for its predecessor, a shawm, from which the basic form of the hobbis was derived. Major differences between the two instruments include the division of the hobbis into three sections, or joints, and the elimination of the pirouette, the wooden ledge below the reed which allowed players to rest their lips. The exact date and place of origin of the hobbis are obscure, as are the individuals who were responsible. Circumstantial evidence, such as the statement by the flautist composer Michel de la Barre in his memoir, points to members of the Philidor and Hot Air families. The instrument may in fact have had multiple inventors. The hobbis quickly spread throughout Europe, including Great Britain, where it was called Hoboy, Hoboy, Hoboit, Howboy, and similar variants of the French name. It was the main melody instrument in early military bands, until it was succeeded by the clarinet. The standard Baroque oboe is generally made of boxwood and has three keys, a great key and two side keys. In order to produce higher pitches, the player has to overblow or increase the airstream to reach the next harmonic. Notable oboe makers of the period are the Germans Jacob Denner and J.H. Eichentopf, and the English Thomas Stainsby and his son Thomas Jr. The range for the Baroque oboe comfortably extends from C4 to D6. With the resurgence of interest in early music in the mid-20th century, 
A few makers began producing copies to specifications taken from surviving historical instruments. Classical The classical period brought a regular oboe whose bore was gradually narrowed, and the instrument became outfitted with several keys. Among them were those for the notes D sharp, F, and D sharp. A key similar to the modern octave key was also added called the slur key, though it was at first used more like the flick keys on the modern German bassoon. Only later did French instrument makers redesign the octave key to be used in the manner of the modern key. The narrower bore allows the higher notes to be more easily played, and composers began to more often utilize the oboe's upper register in their works. Because of this, the oboe's tessitura in the classical era was somewhat broader than that found in Baroque works. The range for the classical oboe extends from C4 to F6, though some German and Austrian oboes are capable of playing one half step lower. Classical era composers who wrote concertos for oboe include Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven, and numerous other composers including Johann Christian Bach, Johann Christian Fischer, Jan Antonin Kozalu, and Ludwig August Lebrun. Many solos exist for the regular oboe in chamber, symphonic, and operatic compositions from the classical era. Viennese or Wiener oboe The Wiener oboe is a type of modern oboe that retains the essential bore and tonal characteristics of the historical oboe. The Academy model Wiener oboe, first developed in the late 19th century by Joseph Harzik from earlier instruments by C. T. Golder of Dresden, is now made by several makers such as André Constantinides, Karl Rado, Guntram Wolf, Christian Rauch and Yamaha. It has a wider internal bore, a shorter and broader reed and the fingering system is very different than the conservatoire oboe. In the oboe, Jeffrey Burgess and Bruce Haynes write, the differences are most clearly marked in the middle register, which is reedier and more pungent, and the upper register, which is richer in harmonics on the Viennese oboe. Guntram Wolf describes them. From the concept of the bore, the Viennese oboe is the last representative of the historical oboes, adapted for the louder, larger orchestra, and fitted with an extensive mechanism. Its great advantage is the ease of speaking, even in the lowest register. It can be played very expressively and blends well with other instruments. The Viennese oboe is, along with the Vienna horn, perhaps the most distinctive member of the Wiener Philharmonica Instrumentarium. Conservatoire oboe This oboe was developed further in the 19th century by the Tribut family of Paris. Using the Bohm flute as a source of ideas for key work, Guillaume Tribut and his sons, Charles and Frederick, devised a series of increasingly complex yet functional key systems. A variant form using large tone holes, the Bohm system oboe, was never in common use, though it was used in some military bands in Europe into the 20th century. F. Laure of Paris made further developments to the modern instrument. Minor improvements to the bore and key work have continued through the 20th century, but there has been no fundamental change to the general characteristics of the instrument for several decades. The modern standard oboe is most commonly made from grenadilla, also known as African blackwood, though some manufacturers also make oboes out of other members of the genus Dalbergia, which includes cocobola, rosewood, and violetwood. Ebony has also been used. Student model oboes are often made from plastic resin, to avoid instrument cracking to which wood instruments are prone but also to make the instrument more economical. The oboe has an extremely narrow conical bore. It is played with a double reed consisting of two thin blades of cane tied together on a small diameter metal tube which is inserted into the reed socket at the top of the instrument. The commonly accepted range for the oboe extends from B flat 3 to about G6 over 2 and a half octaves, though its common tessitura lies from C4 to E flat 6. Some student oboes only extend down to B3. However this variant is becoming less common. A modern oboe with the full conservatoire or gilet key system has 45 pieces of key work, with the possible additions of a third octave key and alternate F or C key.
The keys are usually made of nickel silver, and are silver or occasionally gold platted. Besides the full conservatoire system, oboes are also made using the British thumbplate system. Most have semi-automatic octave keys, in which the second octave action closes the first, and some have a fully automatic octave key system, as used on saxophones. Some full conservatory oboes have finger holes covered with rings rather than plates, and most of the professional models have at least the right-hand third key open hold. Professional oboes used in the UK and Iceland frequently feature conservatoire system combined with a thumb plate. Releasing the thumb plate has the same effect as pressing down the right-hand index finger key. This produces alternate options which eliminate the necessity for most of the common cross intervals. But cross intervals are much more difficult to execute in such a way that the sound remains clear and continuous throughout the frequency change. Other members of the oboe family The standard oboe has several siblings of various sizes and playing ranges. The most widely known today is the cor anglais, or English horn, the tenor member of the family. A transposing instrument, it is pitched in F, a perfect fifth lower than the oboe. The oboe d'amour, the alto member of the family, is pitched in A, a minor third lower than the oboe. J.S. Bach made extensive use of both the oboe d'amour as well as the tie and oboe da caccia, baroque antecedents of the cor anglais. Even less common is the bass oboe, which sounds one octave lower than the oboe. Delius and Holst both scored for the instrument. Similar to the bass oboe is the more powerful Heckelphone, which has a wider bore and larger tone than the baritone oboe. Only 165 Heckelphones have ever been made. Not surprisingly, competent Heckelphone players are difficult to find due to the extreme rarity of this particular instrument. The least common of all are the Musit, the Sopranino member of the family, and the Contrabass oboe. Folk versions of the oboe, sometimes equipped with extensive keywork, are found throughout Europe. These include the Musset and the Piston oboe and Bombarda, the Pifaro and Kiromela, and the Zirimia or Chirimia. Many of these are played in tandem with local forms of bagpipe, particularly with the Italian Zampogna or Breton Binio. Similar oboe-like instruments, most believed to derive from Middle Eastern models, are also found throughout Asia as well as in North Africa. Reeds Most professional oboists make their own reeds since every oboist needs a slightly different reed to suit his or her individual needs. By making their own reeds, oboists can precisely control factors such as tone color and tuning. Occasionally, novice oboists may begin with a fiber cane reed, which is made of a synthetic material. Commercially available cane reeds are available in several degrees of hardness. A medium reed is usually used, and most beginners use medium soft reeds. These reeds, like clarinet, saxophone, and bassoon reeds, are made from Aranda Donax. As oboists gain more experience, they may start making their own reeds after the model of their teacher, or buying handmade reeds and using special tools including gouges, pre-gouges, guillotines, knives, and other tools to make the reed to their own liking. According to the late John Mack, former principal oboist of the Cleveland Orchestra, an oboe student must fill her laundry basket with finished reeds in order to master the art. Making good reeds requires years of practice, and the amateur is often well advised not to embark on making his own reeds. Orchestral musicians sometimes do this, make reeds, and co-principals in particular often earn a bit on the side in this way. Many professional musicians import their reed cane directly from the growers in southern France and split it vertically into three parts themselves. Oboes require thicknesses of about 10 mm. Bassoons of 20 to 25 mm. This allows each player to adjust the reeds precisely for individual embouchure, oral cavity, oboe angle, and air support. 
The reed is considered the part of oboe playing that makes it so difficult because slight variations in temperature, altitude, weather, and climate will change a perfectly working reed into an unplayable collection of cane. Notable classical works featuring the oboe. See also oboe, concerto, Tommaso Albinoni, oboe concerti, Johann Sebastian Bach, Brandenburg concertos nose. 1 and 2, Concerto for Violin and Oboe, Lost Oboe Concerti, Numerous Oboe Obligato Lines in the Sacred and Secular Cantatas, Samuel Barber, Canzonetta, Op. 48, for Oboe and String Orchestra, Vincenzo Bellini, Concerto in E-flat, for Oboe and Chamber Orchestra consisting of orchestra consisting of two flutes, two oboes, two clarinets, Though bassoons, two French horns, and strings. Luciano Berriout Kemens IV, for oboe and string orchestra. Harrison Burt Whistle, an interrupted endless melody, for oboe and piano. Harrison Burt Whistle, pulse sampler, for oboe and claves. Benjamin Britten, six metamorphoses after Ovid, op. 49, temporal variations, two insect pieces, fantasy quartet, op. 2. Elliot Carter, Oboe Concerto, Trilogy, for Oboe and Harp, Quartet for Oboe, Violin, Viola, and Cello. Domenico Cimarosa, Oboe Concerto in C Major, Antel Doratia, Duo Concertant for Oboe and Piano, Madeline Dring, Three Piece Suite R, Roger Lord, Madeline Dring, Trio for Oboe, Flute and Piano. Henry Dutelou, Les Citations for Oboe, Harpsichord, Double Bass and Percussion, George Friedrich Handel, The Arrival of the Queen of Sheba, Oboe Concerti and Sonatas, Joseph Haydn, Oboe Concerto in C Major, Hans Werner Henze, Doppio, Concerto, for Oboe, Harp and String Orchestra, Paul Hindemith, Sonata for Oboe and Piano, Heinz Holliger, Sonata, for Unaccompanied Oboe, Mobile, for Oboe and Harp, Trio, for Oboe, Viola, and Harp, Study Uber Merklange, for Unaccompanied Oboe, Sex Stuck, for Oboe and Harp, Charles Coachlin, Sonata for Oboe and Piano, Op. 58. Antonio Lotti, Concerto for Oboe D'Amour, Witold Lutoslavsky, Double Concerto for Oboe, Harp, and Chamber Orchestra, Bruno Modena, Three Oboe Concertos, Grande All Audia, for Flute, Oboe, and Orchestra, All Audia for Oboe D'Amour, Alessandro Marcello, Concerto in D Minor, Bohuslav Martinu, Concerto for Oboe and Small Orchestra, Olivier Messiaen, Concert Catra, Darius Milhard, Les Reeves de Jacob Op. 294, for Oboe, Violin, Viola, Cello, and Double Bass, Sonatina, Op. 337, for Oboe and Piano, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Oboe Concerto in C Major, Quartet in F Major for Oboe, Violin, Viola, and Cello. Carl Nielsen, two fantasy pieces for oboe and piano, op. 2. Antonio Pascala, oboe concertos for oboe and piano, orchestra. Francis Poulence, oboe sonata. Sergei Prokofiev, quintet for oboe, clarinet, violin, viola and bass, op. 39. Maurice Ravel, Le Tombeau de Couperin, Edmund Rubra, oboe sonata. Camille Saint-Saëns, Sonata for Oboe and Piano in D Major, Robert Schumann, Three Romances for Oboe and Piano, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, in Freud's Chaft, for Oboe, Nier, 46 and two-thirds, Oboe for Oboe and Electronic Music, Richard Strauss, Oboe Concerto, Igor Stravinsky, Pastoral, Toritake Mitsu, Distance for Oboe and Show, Adlib, Toritake Mitsu, Andre Temps for Oboe and String Quartet, Tchaikovsky, Theme to Swan Lake, Georg Philipp Telemann, Oboe Concerti and Sonatas, Trio Sonatas for Oboe, Recorder, and Basso Continuo, Antonio Vivaldi, At Least 15 Oboe, Concertos, Ralph Vaughan Williams, Concerto for Oboe and Strings, 10 Blake Songs for Oboe and Tenor, John Woolrich, Oboe Concerto, 
Jan Dismas Zelenka Concertanty, Oboe Trios and Other Works, Bernd Alois Zimmermann, Concerto for Oboe and Small Orchestra, Ellen Tafts Willich, Oboe Concerto, Unaccompanied Pieces Luciano Berriel, Sequenza 7, Benjamin Britten, Six Metamorphoses After Ovid, Op. 49, Carlos Chavez, Up Ingos.